Hello again, friends. As we've journeyed together through the skies in this series, uncovering the truths behind jet engines, fuel, and those intriguing trails above us, there's another dimension to this story waiting to be told. I'm Kirk, and today we're exploring the skies anew, examining how the surge in air and space travel, coupled with a changing climate, is painting a different picture overhead. Have you ever stopped to wonder why there seem to be more contrails in the sky than ever before? It's not just your imagination. The skies are busier and our world is warmer. Let's unpack this, shall we? As global air travel continues to rise, with millions of flights crisscrossing our atmosphere annually, and as humanity reaches further into space, launching satellites and exploring beyond our planet, the fingerprints of these endeavors are left in the trails they produce. Each contrail is a record of human movement, a testament to our exploratory spirit and technological advances. But there's another player in this story, the warming of our planet. A warmer atmosphere affects how long contrails linger and spread. Why does this matter? Because contrails, especially those that spread into cirrus clouds, can have a warming effect on the planet, contributing to the very changes that make them more visible and persistent. This brings us to a pivotal moment of reflection. As we stand witness to this increase in contrails, are we also observing the tangible intersections of human progress and environmental impact? Could this visible change in our skies be a call to action, a reminder of the delicate balance we must maintain in our pursuit of the future? Think about the last time you looked up at a sky streaked with contrails. Did you see merely the remnants of a journey, or did you see a message, a sign of our times? How does knowing the relationship between our ventures into the air and space and the changing climate shape your understanding of our responsibility to this planet. As we ponder these questions, let us not be daunted by the challenges they pose. Instead, let this knowledge inspire us to innovate, to seek solutions that honor our exploratory nature, while safeguarding the home that nurtures us. In the grand tapestry of human achievement, each contrail can be a thread of inquiry leading us to ask, how do we continue to soar, not just through the skies, but in our efforts to protect and preserve our world? Thank you for joining me in this reflection on the skies above and the world we share. Let's keep looking up, not just in wonder, but with a commitment to understanding and action. Together, we can navigate the complexities of this modern age ensuring that our skies tell a story of hope, balance, and responsible stewardship. But what exactly are contrails and why do they form? I hear you ask. Well, let's dive into the science of it all. Contrails or condensation trails are a common sight in our skies. They're those long, thin, wispy clouds that trail behind aircraft. But they're not just smoke or exhaust. No, they're a fascinating phenomenon, a result of the complex interplay between jet engines and atmospheric conditions. When a jet engine burns fuel, it produces exhaust gases. These gases are hot and rich in water vapor. Now, remember, jet aircraft usually fly at high altitudes where the air is extremely cold. We're talking about temperatures well below freezing point when this hot, moist exhaust hits that frigid air. The water vapor condenses and freezes almost instantaneously, forming tiny ice crystals. These ice crystals are what we see as contrails, but it doesn't end there. The formation of contrails also depends on the humidity of the surrounding air. If the air is dry, the ice crystals will evaporate quickly and the contrail will be short-lived. However, if the air is humid, the ice crystals can linger and even grow by attracting more water vapor, 
resulting in contrails that can stretch across the sky for miles and last for hours. Now, here's the twist. As more and more aircraft traverse our skies, the number of contrails naturally increases. And with the rise of space travel and the launching of rockets, which also produce contrails, we're seeing an even greater proliferation of these icy trails. So, as our skies become busier, contrails naturally become more common. This is the science behind the increase in contrails we're witnessing today. But as we'll discover in the next part of our journey, there's a deeper, more complex relationship at play here. One that intertwines our growing air and space travel with the warming of our planet. Stay tuned as we delve into the climate connection of contrails. But there's another player in this story, the warming of our planet. With a warmer atmosphere, the story of contrails takes a fascinating turn. Let's delve deeper. A rise in global temperature doesn't just mean hotter summers and milder winters. It fundamentally changes the dynamics of our atmosphere, affecting everything from weather patterns to the trails left by jets crisscrossing our skies. You see, a warmer atmosphere can cause contrails to linger for longer and spread wider. This might seem like just an interesting tidbit of atmospheric science, but the implications are far larger and more interconnected than you might think. Contrails, specifically those that spread into expansive cirrus cloud formations, are not just harmless water vapor. They have a significant warming effect on our planet. How so, you ask? Well, while these clouds can reflect some sunlight back into space, they are even more effective at trapping heat radiating up from the Earth. This means that the net effect of these contrail-induced clouds is to warm the Earth's surface. Now, here's where things get really interesting. As our world warms and air travel increases, we're seeing more contrails that last longer and spread wider, which in turn contributes to further warming. It's a feedback loop, a cycle that feeds on itself. So, as we marvel at the intricate web of contrails crisscrossing our skies, we're also witnessing an intriguing and complex intersection of human progress and environmental impact. This increase in contrails is more than just a sign of our times. It could be a call to action, a reminder of the delicate balance we must maintain as we reach for the stars without losing sight of the health of our home planet. Could this visible change in our skies be a call to action? A reminder of the delicate balance we must maintain in our pursuit of the future? Think about the last time you looked up at a sky streaked with contrails. Each line, a testament to human ingenuity, a record of progress, and a symbol of our innate desire to explore, to reach out, to connect. But, as we've learned, these trails are also silent narrators of an unfolding story a story of our collective impact on the world we call home. As we continue to reach new heights, literally, with millions of flights and countless space missions, we're also leaving our mark on the atmospheric canvas. Each contrail, while a marvel in itself, is also a reminder of the environmental footprint of our aerial and spatial endeavors. Now add to this the undeniable reality of our warming planet. A warmer atmosphere leads to contrails that linger longer and spread wider, contributing to the very warming that facilitates their persistence. It's a complex, interconnected dance of cause and effect. So as we gaze upon a sky filled with contrails, what do we really see? Is it merely the aftermath of a journey, or is it something more? Is it a stark reminder of our impact, a visual representation of the delicate balance between progress and preservation? This is where we must pause and reflect, for understanding this relationship is key to recognizing our collective responsibility. 
The contrails in our skies are not just symbols of human achievement, but also signals of the environmental cost of our advancement. What we do with this knowledge, how we let it shape our actions, is up to us. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, can we also innovate ways to minimize our impact? Can we find a balance that allows us to keep exploring, keep soaring, while also protecting the planet that sustains us? How does knowing this relationship shape your understanding of our responsibility to this planet? The answers to these questions will determine the kind of legacy we leave behind, the kind of future we forge. So let's continue to look up, not just in awe of our achievements, but also with a deep understanding of our impact and a commitment to creating a future that respects and protects our shared home. As we ponder these questions, let us not be daunted by the challenges they pose. On the contrary, let these complexities inspire us, fueling our innovative spirit. The very advancements that have given us the ability to explore the skies and beyond also hold the potential to help us safeguard our planet. Consider this. Our ventures into the air and space have left their mark in the form of contrails, a visible testament to human progress. But what if we could harness that same spirit of exploration, that same drive for progress, to find solutions that balance our ambitions with the well-being of our planet? Imagine an aviation industry that minimizes its environmental impact through cleaner fuels and more efficient engines. Picture a space program that develops technologies not just for exploration, but also for monitoring and mitigating climate change. Envision a world where every contrail in the sky serves as a reminder not of the challenges we face, but of the solutions we've found. This is not just a pipe dream. It's a future we can actively shape. The challenges we face today can be the catalyst for the innovations of tomorrow, driving us to rethink, reimagine, and reinvent. And as we do so, we must remember that our responsibility extends beyond our own generation. We are stewards of this planet, caretakers of its future. So, the next time you gaze up at the sky filled with contrails, See not just the trails of flights that have been, but the potential for a future that can be. Let each contrail be a symbol of our commitment to balance our exploratory endeavors with the preservation of our world. Together, we can navigate the complexities of this modern age, ensuring that our skies tell a story of hope, balance, and responsible stewardship. As we soar towards the future, let us carry with us the knowledge that our journey is not just about reaching new heights, but about ensuring a sustainable future for all. Thanks for watching. Please share this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Let's continue to look up not just in wonder, but with a commitment to understanding, innovation, and action.